I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, oh, good luck. Give me a minute. You realize you couldn't get to Australia a lot faster if you just went up in a rocket. Uh, would you, would you I, I, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been there, done that. So, <laughs> so, now, I don't want to go back to Australia and that 17 hour trip or whatever. So I said, no, I can't go, but, and this book that's out there now, Boldly Go, has the concept that I hope it is, is that if we do the right thing, and by that I mean commute, pray, observe, become one with the universe, the universe takes care of you in a way. It's kind of sloppy, and I believe 85% of it, and 15% is probably bullshit, but <laughs> I think there is a way of communing with the universe, and in my case, the universe strangely, the worst things that happen to me, somehow turn out to be the right thing, and, and it works out. So, I've joined this company that says we can beam your image in, and suddenly I get a call from Adby saying, would you come down to, to Australia? And I said, no, I can't, but I have new technology. Technology is the answer, not on my phone. <laughs> but technology is the answer to being, to beaming anywhere in the world. And that's what happened. They set up this phone booth in Sydney, Australia. I'm sorry, phone booth? Is it well, it's a kind of phone booth. Okay. It's the size it's of a phone booth, but it's special. Rectangular kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, oval. Oval. Well, rectangular is not quite the shape. Why would you say rectangular? Well, when a phone I say booth. Hang well, on. Booth. But a phone booth is round. It's like a missile. What? No. Okay. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a phone booth? We're just interested in knowing what the shape is. The shape I'm was a like a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> it was the size of a phone booth, but a little bit bigger. Okay. So, but it, it was built by Proto Hologram, and they had one of those down there just for that kind of event. So they set it up on stage, and and this lady, uh, Master of Ceremonies, interviewed me a week before. What are we going to say? What are we going to do? We planned the thing, right? and then uh, a couple of hours. The day before, what are we going to say? What are we going to do? And finally, that afternoon, a few days ago, uh, 3.30, it's 3.30, and I'm in the, uh, in a, on stage in Los Angeles, and they've got an electronic camera on me, and the lady says to 4,000 people in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, New technology, and who in the for who else would be in the forefront of beaming in is Shatner. William Shatner is here, and here is William Shatner. And nothing happens. <laughs> failure. Techno technological failure. And everybody on in the stage on, in Los Angeles were the owners of the company and the people who invented the machine. And they're all like, oh my God. Oh, gee, oh, Jesus. And the lady is saying, and here is Winnichen. Nothing. <laughs> Empty phone booth, new technology, a new company. We will beam you in. No beam. The phone wouldn't work. And there was five minutes of hysteria. And then, boom, 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 <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and instead of me, a wallaby came on stage and said, I'm going to get you, Shatner. <laughs> the thing worked, and it was a major success, standing ovation. I appeared in front of 4,000 people all those miles away, 7,000 miles or whatever it is, 
I beamed in to a stage, to a, an auditorium in Sydney, Australia, and it was, it was a, the technology didn't work, and then it did work. The same way my phone didn't work, and then after it went dead and I plugged it in, it worked.